Okay, in today's video, we're having a look at a Create RC5A-2 rotator and controller that I just finished um, refurbishing and upgrading. We'll just have a quick look at the um, insides of the um, the upgrades I had to do to this um, controller first, the Dash 2 controller. This is just has the speed control only. On this one, this is just a standard controller. This is one of their early versions, um, which is a lot smaller than the uh, later versions. Uh, the original PCB in this one was burnt out. So basically what I've done is I've replaced it with a current version uh, PCB, uh, which mounts on the back panel as you can see here. The original PCBs used to lay down flat in underneath all this here. So um, the PCB was basically stuffed so so I've done a few upgrades to this to accommodate this um, this particular um, PCB um, I had to um, put in a different uh, power supply this is um, uh, well not my current power supply but it's a, a later version the one that was in this was uh, a much earlier version uh, and I had to put in a little baby power supply down here for uh, one of the dis for the display uh, drive um, so yeah, there we are. That's um, that's that part of it, um, and uh, the new PCB is definitely a lot better um, uh, PCB. So we just switch, switch them around here. Also, we put on a brand new terminal block on this one. It's flaring it out. Whoopsies. So it's a brand new terminal block, the latest version, which uh, has wider. Um, grips on the actual um, and encapsulated in the screw as well the actual grip um, is part of the actual screw um, it's the old ones used to fall off occasionally but yeah that was the old ones so yeah we've um, this is just a bit of a quick look around through this one we'll show you it working later on um, everything's been sort of shoehorned in because uh, this piece of B sitting where it normally sits normally sits a bit further out and this transformer I had to move um, towards the front panel to fit it in. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's all, all happening there. So um, that's just a bit of a quick look around. We'll put him back together again and, uh, it's basically, and then I'll show you it working. And I will have a quick look at the uh, the rotator as well. So then we have a slot back under there. Put his screws back in again so he looks whole, all whole again. And then we'll uh, have a quick look at the rotator. Okay, put this all back together. Yeah, the um, yeah, the PCB. I, I probably should have shown you a picture of the PCB. It was um, looks like I've been hit by lightning. The original one. Uh, it was it was uh, a big, 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 big mess. Um, so yeah, it was like far out. It had to go. Uh, and I think someone tried to repair it and, and it made it worse. It was just like, tried to put links everywhere in it and it was just, there was so much damage done to it. It's just like, I don't know why you'd try and bother. Um, so we'll just push this aside for now. Moving over there for now, the present moment. The actual rotator. Okay, this is a, a, a RC5A rotator. This rotator has a brand new motor because the motor was burnt out as well so this may have happened at the same time and they didn't realize it was burnt out but whatever it was a nice mess as usual um, so basically this is a good look around this rotator has a brand new motor um, it has been wired up um, rewired I should say completely um, oh, the casings were glass bead blasted uh, cleaned and glass bed blast, so was the, um, the output flange as well as the mask clamps mask clamps here, it's probably going to flare out because I've been wrapped in plastic already um, so basically they'll glass bed blast and then I've etched primed them and then uh, it has been uh, painted in a hammer tone silver so basically this is the uh, full rotator, it has the latest version uh, top on it uh, the cover of the screw, the screw cover I still have the original the original socket on this is a few of the original parts still in this one, but I've totally rewired it. Uh, new limit switches, um, 
and wiring uh, and whatnot. So yeah, um, has the original. I already bought the box. Has the original uh, gal screws, mounting bolts, etc. And um, a original plug, which I've cleaned up. It was a bit of a mess. Um, so yeah. Uh, so I probably can't show you those again, but they might just flare out. No, maybe not if we just get the right angle. These are the actual clamps that come with it, so they've all been glassed, they're blasted and painted in the silver again as well. So we're just moving back over there for now. Move these out of the road. We'll put our controller back in front again. Got a power cord over here. Right into the road. Oh, better spin around first. Do a quick wire job, get rid of the um, you might have noticed in the back, I'm actually um, supplying the uh, you know, fork terminals for this, so I'm just stuck it to the back. I need to see a little light in the back there, that's the LED light to uh, indicate that the fuse is blown. So we'll just take this plate off. There we can see that, so just take this little cover plate, this little cover plate that flared out. A little clear cover plate that there was on these, on the original one. Sometimes they, if I get them, they don't have them. So we'll quickly wire up the uh, wire up the plug. I'll wire up the plug. I'll start again. We'll wire the control cable to the rotor controller. It's done. Then we can take it for a bit of a quick whirl. There's five. Five is there. This is my little test cable that I made up to do all these, one of many of the test cables I've got for testing and alignment and everything. Yeah, the, um, the rotator has been fully aligned as well, um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's in pretty good nick now. The motor was the main issue with this one, and the fact it was yeah, it was, it was, when I pulled it apart, it was like, there was wires actually hanging off the windings, uh, wire windings hanging off the actual inside of the motor, it was like, so I definitely think it was a, a lightning strike that did that, it was, there was actually a lot of damage done to it, so that around the back of that, well, put that like that, I might sit that a bit to the side, Plug in the right direction. Right. Plug ourselves in. Turn him on. Oh, I hope I turn the power on. That's a good idea too. There we are. Now we're on. Okay. Um, the later models have LED illumination here. Um, I've just done it with the bulbs on this one. Um, because of the way things are oh, with this particular one, I've wasted a lot of time on it as it is. So there's the rotator in the background. We have speed control of this one, and this one also has the original lock in the actual direction switch. Oh, you probably can't see it touching the direction switch. There we are, a bit lower down. So we can um, just do momentary or lock. So you can just there we go, and then we can do the speed control. down to uh, fairly low movement, you probably can't even hardly see it moving, oh, if you look closely you can see it moving, so they get down quite low. These like these later boards do go slightly slower in their uh, speed control, um, so we're just spinning back up again, and this is a, uh, they're an AC motor, 28 volt AC motor, and this is a pulse drive by a Triac or SCR and um, so basically the, the motor is turned off for a second in the circuitry and then turned back on again and being a worm drive um, and yeah that, uh, it's the faster moving gears so we bring it around to south the uh, end light on this one works but you probably might not see it when it turns on maybe you probably can't see it, but not a problem. It is on. 
So, okay, we'll uh, go back the other way. Has a time delay between forward and reverse. Um, this, um, they always did have that, so the A, a versions. But the actual, um, uh, oh, we're turning down the slow again. That's probably about half speed. We can't quite see it, it's like still quite slow. Yeah. Back, yeah, back to west. The yeah, creative always had the um, this 28 volt motors and and uh, speed control and speed control on, on their standard controllers. So, you know, the uh, the next version up, which is a dash three, has um, dial preset. And the speeds move up the top, and the dial presets down the bottom. And uh, yeah, but this is just a standard version. I will be doing one of those. Um, we might stop here at west. Sorry, east. I'll get it right in a minute. So we'll stop there, and we might as just we'll start it up in uh, in slow mode. And it is quite slow. <laughs> so really good for coming in on a, on trying to line up um, a station with the aerial. So I'm bipping at me. I think I know who it was. Okay, so there we go. We're coming in the south. The light comes on, probably can't see it. Might be, maybe you won't see it now. Which we have, no, probably can't, still can't see it. No problem. We'll take you back to north. This is just really to show you it all working. And, uh, and I can get this thing on my website and, uh, and try and get it sold to recoup some funds. So there's a lot of money going in these things. Um, so yeah. So we are up through east again. And uh, We'll uh, then uh, pack him all up. Okay, coming up to north. We'll do another little slowdown. We'll bring it to there at half speed. We'll, we'll let it come in onto the north position at slow speed. I always like to pack them up in uh, in the north position. They're basically ready to go. There we are, we're at north. There we go. Okay, Dougie, turn him off. Turn the speed back to flat out. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, so I'll catch you next video. Bye.